you can see my eyes in my eyes. I always wanted to do that. I think it was Kelly declared this week Nostalgia Week, which for a pack rat like me is not a good thing because I had to go sort through my giant boxes of stuff and try to pick the things that both mean the most to me and will be most interesting. So first, we look back on a simpler time. November 16th, 2001. The release of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Child matinee ticket price? Five dollars. You can also be nostalgic about things in your family's past, like this for instance, the invitation to Ivor's first birthday party. She was very cute. Don't know what happened. She's kicking me. And then there's this, which is the Hanukkah play from 2000. I was the narrator. I actually had the whole play memorized, and I went to my cousin's house at one point over winter break, and I wrote it all out, and we were trying to perform it. Never got around to it, but we actually did try to perform it. I found this note that one day when I was sick, my mom went to get my books. She put it in my locker, and I kept it there for the rest of the year. Very sweet. Here's my boarding pass to get onto the boat in second grade for immigration day. That's me in second grade. Here's this is me in fourth grade dressed as Ben Franklin. If you look closely, you can see that attached to my poster, there was a kite being struck by lightning with a key attached to it. This is the program from when I saw Trout Fishing in America at the Keswick Theater on December 7th, 2002. Little did I know then that six and a half years later, I would be seeing Adina Menzel at the same theater. Which, it's not a big deal to anyone else, but matters to me. I can be nostalgic for the time that this was my favorite CD. Don't get me wrong, I still love it, but it's not my number one. Literally, I got my iPod, and I had to make sure that the first song I listened to on it was The Wizard and I. There's also a time when this was my favorite CD, but we're not going to talk about that. We could be nostalgic for when this was my favorite movie. So, I mean, like yesterday. Yesterday was such a good day, wasn't it? I miss yesterday. I have this book. It says on the inside, Sierra Rose read this book January 98. You know, very, like, clean and nice. And then underneath it says, Sierra Rose reread this book December 2000. Very messy and seven year old book. Um, you know, but like some things never change. Like here's the certificate. I read 40 books in the uh, Buccaneers Reading Club at the Public Library, summer 1997. And uh, I just went to the library last night at the end of the summer reading club when I volunteered and I got a tote bag. And inside, you know, at the Summer Reading Club, they give out books at the end. Like, you get to pick two books. And some things never change. I got free books. I love free books. Free books make me happy. As do books that maybe aren't free, but are awesome all the same. So, here you go. Hope you enjoyed a uh, brief look at me through the years. None of it was really about me, but that's okay. Um... Kelly, I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have fun this weekend at your big going away party. And DFTBA. I already edited, so I don't have time to actually put this in. But Emily, I had some of those Inspector Gadget pieces. And I wanted the whole thing, like the cell phone. And I think I had one of the legs. That was exciting. Okay, bye.